We're public information officers with Unified Fire Authority. You might be wondering what we're doing, why we're sweating so much, or even if it's sweat at all. Yes, it's actually sweat. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been sitting in my vehicle. It's a black on black sedan, black leather seats, black exterior, non tinted windows. We've only been here for what, five minutes, Patrick? Five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Covered in sweat. Yeah. Dripping. It's about 93 degrees outside. Uh, right now, the internal temperature of this vehicle is 140 degrees. We have this thermometer that's been sitting here, but before we open the doors, we actually got this internal temperature to 160 degrees. And we use this, um, we use this thermometer here, measure surface temperature. We measure the temperature of the seats and it was 200 degrees as we sat down in this vehicle. So just a reminder with these hot temps, watch those kids because we're in shape, adults, well hydrated. We have people standing by outside the car to help us just in case. We've been here five minutes covered in sweat, like dripping puddles of sweat. And that's to in shape adult male firefighters. So watch your kids, please, especially with, especially with these hot summer temperatures. Make sure you know where your kids are at all times because it only takes two, three, four, five, six minutes to become a big problem. Right. Um, also with that, um, you know, rethink possibly leaving your child in the car if you go inside the grocery store or, or your pet uh, even. So uh, we did a test yesterday and what we noticed is in this 90 degree temperature, which we will sustain or see throughout the rest of this week here and month, um, it only takes two minutes for it to rise 20 degrees in the vehicle and that's without the air conditioner with the windows rolled up. So, uh, it, you know, the temperature does rise quickly and becomes, uh, you know, very dangerous. So please be safe, watch your kids. Yeah, don't leave kids unattended in cars even for a second because it's hot. Holy smokes, it is so hot. So, we were just in there for about five minutes. It was 140 degrees, that's what the uh, meat probe read. Uh, the surface temperature of the seat sweat. was 208 degrees. So we sat down, it was extremely uncomfortable initially. Um, and within 30 seconds, we're full of sweat. So uh, we sat in there for five minutes. We had medical on standby to make sure that we were okay. We're well hydrated. And uh, we just wanted to share with you how dangerous uh, these summer temperatures can be. Also make sure that we're watching our children. We don't wanna make sure that they're not unattended around vehicles or have access to cars, especially if they've been sitting out all day. We reached 160 degrees in this car internal temperature before we opened the door. Um, and so we just wanna make sure that we're mindful of where our children are, especially if they're around our vehicles. Um, and then also if our children are um, in the vehicles and we think that we can take a quick second to go in and grab a gallon of milk or, or what have you, uh, rethink that thought process because it only takes two minutes for the car to rise 20 degrees to an uncomfortable level, possibly dangerous level at that. Uh, so as the time goes on, it increases exponentially how hot it gets uh, fairly quickly. So pay attention this summer. It's super hot. It's going to be hot for the rest of the summer. Um, it should sustain within the 90s throughout the rest of the week and the month. Um, so just be super mindful about uh, where your children are, your pets are, and really how hot your vehicle can get. This, this door has been open, completely open for 60 plus seconds. It's still 132 degrees inside. I am still sweating profusely. So even though one side of the door is completely open, it hasn't helped one bit. Like I'm still hot, sweaty, uncomfortable. It doesn't make a difference. So even if you think if you crack your windows, it's okay. We have a complete door open. It's not helping. Still shows 131, 132 degrees sustained temps. So cracking the windows doesn't help. Woo, it's hot. Drenched in sweat. Drenched, drenched, drenched. That was, I think, eight minutes total. So yeah, it's hot, quick. Watch your kids, please.